2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's event. Today's coverage of the Sand Dune Classic is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey with Rich Beam in the booth. And on course, we've got John McCarthy. Thanks, Luke. Uh, glad to be here. Looking forward to taking in some golf at eye level down here. Can't wait to see what happens out there today. Lovely effort that, playing from around 110 yards out. Going with the eight iron here. This one needs to kick left. Wow. What a shot. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. Six feet remaining to the cup. This one's looking good. They've made it. Off to a great start today. And always a good feeling to have early in the round. Currently one under for the day. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Time to tee off at the second. Luke, coming off a of birdie at the last hole, this player finally is making something happen. Looking forward to the next hole, but danger lurks if they're not careful. What a bad line, this one. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. Yep, that shot's safely on the green. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. What they say, never up, never in. Sometimes when you try and get it up the hill, you just forget to hit it sometimes. It seems so in this case. And down it goes. He's currently tied for ninth. You've arrived at a par five.
Well, this should find the short grass. Second shot here on the third. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Always love these opportunities especially when it's for birdie. Looks good off the blade. Well, well holds, he'll take the birdie. Solid play finds that player moving up the leaderboard after that hole. After a birdie at the last, and you take the honour on the hole. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Now yeah. yeah, that looked pretty good the whole way. He's already made a few birdies today. And this is another good look. It was on a good line. If you can make this one. It's for par. Job done. Let's head to the next. Just two shots back after that hole. It's time to step on the tee here at the fifth. Out a boy, good shot. Game with the seven. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Yeah, nicely played. We've already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. Go on, get in the hole. Oh, so close. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. Good putt, that. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. Time to tee off at the sixth.
This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Second shot here on the sixth. Opting for the nine iron. Well, you're a ball striker, there's no doubt about that. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. Steady now. An opportunity to make their par. Oh, just missed. This one's for bogey. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. He's currently tied for 13th. And moving down the leaderboard as well. Deep into the front nine. Here we are at the seventh hole. Going with a three wood here. Wonderfully played. A chance to move to a couple under the card with this putt. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. And that puddle drop. Well done. Currently one under for the event. Not much happening. Moving down the leaderboard, never a good sign. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. That should find the fairway. to have chosen the seven iron. Come on, get a good bounce to the left. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two putt that for sure. He's already had a few birdies today. This for another. You want to move into the top 10 on the leaderboard? Well, let's hold this putt. Frustrating. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. Well, that's a handy shot. Playing from around 150 yards here. Five strokes behind our leader. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. 
Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. Not a bad approach, that one, up onto the green. A couple of putts in there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. He's already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. Just remember to get that nice rhythm in your stroke. Downhill putt, and sometimes you think it's going to run out more than it does. Just couldn't quite figure it out this time. And we'll hold. Let's move on. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. Always love a new beginning. Here we are at the opening hole of the back nine, the 10th. <laughs> yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Going with the pitching wedge here. You liked that, didn't you? Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. was a gallant attempt and they'll walk away with a par on this one and after that hole this is how the leaderboard looks right now trailing by four strokes this has to be one of the more difficult holes in golf the long par four and after that part, they're looking for something good here. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. around 180 yards out currently four shots off the pace opting for the hybrid I think oh look at this right down the throat didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped air mailed the green with that approach A wonderfully played chip shot. Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. Yep, well done. Now four back after that hole. Teeing off here on the 12th hole. Going with the hybrid.
This would be a great up and down. Well, that's an impressive little chip. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. Ouch, that hurts. And this one will be for bogey. So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. And that'll move him to even power for the tournament. And now on the tee, coming off a bogey, trying to reclaim some momentum. A chance to go under par here if you can just keep the bogeys off the card. That was wonderfully done. Time for the second shot here at the 13th. And here we are with the third shot. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Pretty good shot there. And this putt to move into the top 20. That's half a chance of being hold this one. And with that putt, he's bounced back immediately from his previous drop shot. And that will take him to one under. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four. That looks to be a fair way finder to me. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. And this putt to move into the top ten. If that's the right pace, this should drop. That one had eyes for it the whole way. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. At minus two, coming along nicely today. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. That one's heading down Broadway. Well, this is bold. Their eyes are opening up, headed for the green. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. 
Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and get rewarded for it. Putting for Eagle here. Looking really good, this one. Oh, a little bit of a rush of blood by the looks of it. There's part of about six feet coming up. Hey, that's a chance. And the putt drops, now at three under, heading down the stretch. And just a few holes remaining. Let's see what they can produce. He's currently in a share of sixth. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Teeing off here on the 16th hole. And choosing the eight iron here. You're going to put your foot down. This is as good a time as any. Handy effort, that one. Spot the all-important top five awaits if you can hold this putt. This one has eyes for the hole. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. To the top five he goes. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. Pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. They are trailing, heading into the short par four. Do they take it on to the layup? How much do they trust their swing right now? We'll find out. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Wow, Rich, that's impressive. Gotta love it, taking out the big stick and going ahead and walloping it right onto the green. Looks like they just forgot to hit it, Rich. And this putt to move into a tie for fourth place. And then we should make it tied going into the final hole. That starts off on a good line. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. All right, one more hole to go. Let's see how you handle the 18th. Looking shot this. Coming off a string of five birdies.
Going with the 9-iron, nine I think. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. That's a lovely shot here at the 18th and a chance for Birdie at the last. And this putt is for a final score of 65. It's on a great line. And that will conclude his tournament to date. Rich, not a bad week, but so close to the win. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.